I started having job opportunities and companies reaching out to me via LinkedIn, inviting me for interviews. And I'm like, oh, really? I waited for you guys. Nope, I'm out. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is not one of those videos that teaches you how to quit your nine to five and build a seven figure business in one month. No. You clicked this video because you want to learn how to monetize thy passion or skills. So I am here to tell you how I did mine and I hope you derive some insights from this video. This is my truth. No filter, no bullshit, no gatekeeping. Let's do this. Let's rewind to my university days. I was like any other ambitious student, okay? <laughs> Let's not pretend like we didn't notice the change. There is a change up here yeah okay let's move on i was like any other ambitious student tirelessly striving for good grades and a promising career after graduation i was 90 percent a robotic bookworm 10 percent was when i ventured into politics i won by the way the pressure was real and the pursuit to secure a good job after graduation was my primary goal I knew I wanted to work in human resources after my internship with NNPC, so I made sure I had the vital areas or concerns of potential employers covered. Good grades, I got it. Internship, covered. Professional courses, check. I'm very analytical and I plan. I plan everything. I knew my current situation. I knew the things I needed to do to get to where I want to be. I had my career planned. Life after graduation hit me hard. Despite my dedication, the two on-site jobs I secured failed to give me that fulfillment I needed. The initial excitement of securing a job quickly turned into a disheartening experience for me because both were for a very short period, three months or four. I was not laid off, the companies closed down. One was a Chinese company and the other, whatever. <laughs> it was a tough pill to swallow. And I found myself grappling with a sense of frustration and at times, depression. I would ask myself, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point of going to school and getting a good grade? What was the point? They lied to me. They lied to us, by the way. Because you see a job ad and with so much excitement, with so much enthusiasm you go through the job description and somewhere in the job description you see you have to be 25 years there's an age limit you have to be 25 what i was 25 a few months ago can you just take me take me please i'm not that old so i had a spot in my room where i would sit cry and encourage myself afterwards i was my therapist I'm still my therapist. <laughs> Let me quickly say this. If you are a recent graduate and you're going through this phase and trying so hard not to snap on the people asking you, what next? Oh, you've graduated. What next? What's the next plan? Bro, sis, I understand you perfectly. And you know the worst part? People that ask you this question do not give you any guide. They will tell you, okay, this is what you need to do or I have an opening for you, or you should take on the skill, or you should do this, or you should do that. They don't offer any guidance. They don't offer any valuable information. All they do is ask you, oh, you don't finish school. Oh yeah, where to go do next? What next? Leave me alone. I know what to do. Even if I don't know what to do. It's okay not to know what to do immediately after school. It's okay not to get it all figured out. I don't know what to do. Leave me alone. Hold on. I've always been drawn to the art of storytelling. So discovering a niche where I could merge this passion with a viable business opportunity became my mission. Crafting CVs, resumes, cover letters, SOPs, or optimizing LinkedIn profiles, I found joy in helping others articulate their professional stories effectively. But before turning this into a business, I tested it. 
I started with me. I revamped my CV, used it to apply for jobs. I got callbacks. I extended to writing free CVs to friends and families and got amazing feedbacks from them. Okay, I also wrote all my personal statements I used in applying for my postgraduate program in the UK, in the US. I shared my application process in this video and in this one as well. And if you want to learn how to apply to the UK yourself without the help of a third party or an agent, watch this video. All right, so about the pro bono work I did, writing CVs for friends and families, it's important I note here that if you send those CVs to me that I wrote years ago, I am going to deny it. There will be no evidence. <laughs> there will be no evidence because i saw one that i wrote a few months ago and i was like i wrote this i told myself you've really evolved as i can't even begin to compare the masterpiece i dish out now to what i wrote a few years ago fast forward to the present the Tari Consulting is accumulation of my passion and a desire to provide valuable services to clients. I specialize in a range of services from crafting compelling resumes to developing comprehensive business plans. I felt a longing for something more, something that would make me jump out of my bed with so much excitement and I found it. Do I want more unapologetically? Yes. I'm still growing. I am not there yet. But for today, I am doing something I care about. I do not even have the time to seek for a 9 to 5 job because the one I am currently doing is sometimes overwhelming and merging YouTube is a lot of work. So today I am doing something I care about. I turn poorly written resumes, CVs into a masterpiece. I transform LinkedIn profiles from nah or okay to wow. So if you need any of these services, my email address is in the description. Let's work together towards achieving that dream job. Let's work together towards getting that admission in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia, any country, I got you. It's real. Self-doubt, imposter syndrome, self-criticism, it's real. I was doing well, getting positive reviews and all whatnot. But on this fateful day, a client reached out to me and asked, Do you write visa SOPs? I typed yes immediately and instantly regretted it. Oh, you think because you can write personal statements, you can write visa SOP. You will be the reason why somebody's visa will be denied. Oh my god, and it went on. Long story short, I fought with my anxiety and I won. I accepted the job and I nailed it. Embrace change. Life's trajectory might not always align with our initial plans. Being open to change and be willing to pivot can lead to unexpected yet fulfilling path. So embrace change and embrace it fast. Because no one is coming. No one is coming to rescue you. You are all you have. Nobody is coming to tell you this is the path walk through it you need to make your move yourself and every other thing will align start now and start right where you are this is like a mantra for me if you've been watching my videos you've heard me say this a lot start now the right time to start was yesterday but you missed it that's fine start now today i would have incorporated the step-by-step -step process i took in launching my business but this video is going to be very long um, to do that so maybe i'm going to share it in another video if you want me to create that video comment how to start an online business in the comment section and if i have up to 10 comments i will make a video on it zitari consulting isn't just a service business it's a brand built on consistency quality and a genuine commitment to providing value to clients since I started my business, most of the jobs I get are based on referrals. People I have worked with referred me to their friends, their families, and their colleagues. So focus on providing value and let your work speak for itself. So friend, if you're sitting there and thinking, can I do this? The answer is a resounding yes. 
But if you have a full-time job that is working for you, don't quit. Don't quit to pursue your passion without a plan. Make sure you have a plan because as an entrepreneur, some months will be like a nightmare. You will be broke. Don't quit without a plan. It's not going to be easy. You might face some setbacks, but if you're really passionate about what you're doing, trust me, the journey is worth it. I'm not there yet, but where I am today, definitely better than where I was yesterday seeking for jobs that never came. And you know the funnest part? After starting my business and starting YouTube, I started having job opportunities and companies reaching out to me via LinkedIn, inviting me for interviews. And I'm like, oh, really? I waited for you guys. Nope, I'm out. I tell myself, except this is going to pay me a certain amount of money. If not, it's not worth my time because I can't take on a nine to five now on site and still be working with clients and still post on my YouTube channel twice a week. <laughs> that's a lot of work. You had your chance. I'm out. So that's how I turn my passion into a full-time job and I don't regret it. I don't. It's the best decision I have ever made. That's my raw unfiltered journey from job seeker to entrepreneur. I was never what people would call a business person when I was in school. No, it was, I was very unidirectional. I was a corporate freak. But life happened and I had to get sense by force. Friend, life is messy, unpredictable, and sometimes downright tough. But within those struggles lie the seeds of greatness. I just wanted to share my story and hope that it resonates with someone and inspires you to take that leap and just do it in 2024. Just do it. I'll see you in this video as you explore online business ideas that you can start with. Stay fierce. Bye.